for change. Hey guys. So after the last week's rant of a video, I've decided to keep it simple this week and to actually talk about a question that keeps coming up. So are you ready to find out what I think coaching is and what my flavor of coaching actually looks like? Great. Stay tuned. Coming right up. So if you're watching from the States, you are significantly more likely to have been exposed to this or that flavor of life coaching before. My European friends and clients are more likely to know of coaching in a business setting. And that's often more of a consulting training type coaching methodology. So Today, I wanted to go into what I actually do. So what is coaching? Many people think that you have mental illness on one end of the scale. And then the opposite of that is mental health. But mental health is actually only here. This is where you're mentally ill and this is where you are aren't where you're no longer suffering or you're doing okay like you you know you're fine but what's over here is ecstasy is being in flow is being fulfilled in is being blissful all the good stuff is over here that's the opposite of mental illness and I, as a coach, full disclaimer, I'm actually not qualified to work with people on the mental illness side of the spectrum. So if something like this should come up with a client that I notice that they could benefit from therapy, that they notice they would rather talk to a mental health professional, then we will work together to find a suitable replacement for me and move them on to a mental health professional. So who do I work with? Well, I work with people who are hovering somewhere around here, who are fine, but who are not that great and who have glimpsed that or who can imagine that and who want to get that. So what I'm interested in is facilitating the kind of growth the kind of development, the kind of transformation that will get my client from here, from being okay, to wow. So how do I do that? How do I get them to that place? And first and foremost is that I trust in my client's inert ability to think for herself. What? Well, what? Think for herself? Like, if all it takes is me to think for myself, what do I need you for? Well, the sad truth is that often when I first meet my clients, I'm the only one who trusts in their inert thinking abilities. Because maybe they're so bored with their lives right now that they don't have the courage even to start thinking themselves out of their numbness, out of their stuckness, out of this. Or they're so extremely stressed, they're so stressed out that all these stress chemicals have effectively shut off their higher brain functions and they're only acting from their more instinctual emotional brains, and they can't access those higher thinking abilities, their decision-making abilities, their risk assessment abilities. So how does coaching start? They talk and I listen. And I sometimes provide them with neuroscientific background to certain brain processes because just knowing of what is underlying those 
repetitive behaviors that they're exhibiting will help them get rid of the sense of shame, embarrassment, guilt for having done it again. And it will allow them to recognize early warning signs of going that way again. So they have a chance to say stop and then reroot their thinking, reroot the way they're behaving. But I don't always teach neuroscientific background. In fact, more times than not, I'm just there. I listen, I pay attention, and I ask questions so I understand better. And by asking those questions, that often helps the client understand their own thinking better. And in a session, my client gets to explore those emotions, explore those pains. And it's not about dwelling on them, but it's about allowing those emotions to surface because all too often we just suppress them in our day-to-day -day lives. Yes, maybe, maybe those are thoughts and emotions that are connected to those thoughts that we are embarrassed about. Maybe we feel we can't tell anybody about this. Maybe we feel ashamed that we're not thinking differently because society says it should be this way and it's not. Like, why don't I feel that way? So this is what happens in the coaching session is that we allow to work through those emotions as well. And in the next step, we work on uncovering the assumptions, the underlying assumptions about circumstances, about structures. May they be family, may they be work structures or personal characteristics of the client. What is the client assuming about herself that is preventing her from moving forward, that is preventing her from moving to that blissful state? And then we take those assumptions and we look at them from all different angles until we find a new liberating perspective. Something that gives the client the courage, the lightness required to actually take action towards moving towards her goals. And goals and values are also part of the coaching process. So the client gets to define what her ultimate goal is. What does her bliss state look like? And how does she want to be? What are the values that she wants to embody on the way and over there? And then we plan small, manageable steps that every time she reaches one of them, she accomplishes one of them, she gets this dopamine release in her brain. So she will gain happiness all along the way to her ultimate goal. So in the most simple way, in the tiniest of nutshells, that's what I do. That's what my coaching looks like. But there's other things going on as well. You know, we laugh, we connect as human beings, we support each other even. And I feel so privileged to be able to work with these amazing women, these amazing clients of mine who make me so proud of the way they're growing and the speed with which they're growing. And I am also so proud to be part of their journey, to be part of their lives, because I have a genuine connection with my clients. So my name is Henrike Schmidt. I'm the whole brain coach, and that's what I do. So if you're curious to get to know me better, you can book a 15-minute free coffee with Henrike to just have a chat. Or if you're ready to take this a little bit further, you can book one of my 60-minute try-before-you-buy coaching sessions for $99. I'm putting the links in the comments below. I will be back here next Tuesday, 5 p.m. Central European time. Until then, take care. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.